Hey everybody, welcome to another Oklahoma Beer Review. Uh, today we've got a very special beer uh, from an Oklahoma brewery called Anthem. This is Core Punch, an ode to Emily Sutton, who apparently John went to high school with. So yeah, this is John, I'm Shane, and uh, yeah, let's crack this thing open and see what we think. No smoke to speak of. Plain yellow cap which is just as well because I bent the crap out of it. And this is Anthem Core Punch. We could not find any reviews of it whatsoever, really. Uh, aggressive pour yields all kinds ahead. Smell of pine. Smell of citrus. The bubbles are kind of medium sized. There's so much head on this that honestly I can't uh, tell what kind of lace there is. A little bit, and it's not much lace. It's going back down pretty quick. Right on. Um, oh, wow. That is a little reminiscent of Madit. Madi the Damned? Yes. My first uh, my first taste of this kind of reminded me of Madi. Mm. Uh, for those of you uninitiated, oh. uh, that's from the same uh, Canadian brewery that makes uh, La Fin du Monde, which is the end of the world. Uh, Unibrow. They make some really fantastic beers. Um, uh, they make Ephemer, um, Madi, which he mentioned... Le Fin de Monde, which is one of my favorite beers of all time, Another which is French for the end of the world, which is the beer you drink at the end of the world. I probably would. It's pretty great. I don't drink it when it's the end of the world or not. It's the end of the world. I can't get my hands on it at the liquor store. Fair enough. So, um, I, will, I will search for that beer. So, I'll yeah, uh, what the men said. Uh, uh, it's malty. It is dark as hell. Um, I see no down fix you that. can see just a little bit of light through it if you if you hold it up. It is brown, kind of a nut brown. Um, it almost has those kind of walnut flavors to it too. A little bit. It's rich. It is very rich. It's a rich beer. Completely full mouth feel. Uh, the head is just an off white color. This is a little bit more of a sipping beer than it is a chug beer. Um, it is very solid. It does have sort of a um, a nutty flavor to it. Very much so. There's there's kind of a pecan thing going on here. Um, what our alcohol content is on this one. Uh, you know, I'm not sure. Um, it's just got the mark of shame up here by the barcode. So let's see here made, it says made on earth by humans down at the bottom of the label so um that's cool well, that's good uh, i guess it's not alien beers so that's a plus <laughs> um, intergalactic alcohol uh let's see here belgian style one pint we do not have an alcohol content on this unfortunately Got a little bit about emily sutton though in case you all are into bios there's a little bit here about her um i uh I can't find anything, unfortunately. So yeah, Emily Sutton is a weather chaser. She this apparently is in support of a cause that she's supporting. Honestly, yeah. I don't remember what that is. Um, okay, cancer research. Cancer research. Which yeah. Raising money for so cause. Um, so yeah, this this beer, uh, half of the profits go to cancer research. So if you buy it, you could feel good about that. <laughs> um, Getting drunk for a good cause. Pause for the cause, man. Pause right. for the cause. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean it's it's nutty. It's sort of got that walnut or pecan thing going. Um, it's very full mouth bodied. It's something you would sip on. I cannot imagine chugging this beer. That would be a horrible idea for me. It's sick. You know, this is almost this is very very high. <laughs> It's like it's got beer. that that almost yeah. like pecan shell thing going. There's a little bit of bitterness in the back notes to it. Yeah, kind of like a rind. Yeah, it's crazy full bodied. Uh, 
I don't know. I like but don't love it. I would give it a seven. It's a good solid beer. Uh, what do you think, John? Uh, I do enjoy a little bit of a rich beer, like I said, the Lafin du Monde or uh, the Mundi or anything else pretty much in that line. Um, this one is a little, just slightly too rich for me, so I'd have to go ahead and say only a six. Mm -hmm. But, you know, again, if somebody uh, had at a party or, you know, this is what they had in the fridge and said, hey, you want to try some? Like, yeah, try it. I'd try some. Yeah. I'd drink it, but uh, I won't actively seek it out. Yeah, this isn't this isn't one I'd rush out and grab another another bottle of. Yeah. Um, but I don't hate it. If you really like um, really full-bodied, rich beers, um, really like strong nut flavors, pecan or walnut, that sort of thing, then this is the kind of thing you're gonna dig. Honestly, um, it, I mean, it's not my favorite. I don't hate it. Um, yeah, solid seven. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching all the beer reviews. Like, rate, and subscribe. And uh, if you can get your hands on some Anthem, definitely support local and enjoy. Thanks, guys.